I'm sorry, did we wake you up? Uh-oh, what you got over there? We're turning this earth bag dome up to 11, y'all. It shouldn't be too tricky. Oh, no! What's up, green statters? How you doing? Now, if you caught our last video, you know we just completed course number 10 of our earth bag dome. Now, we were all set to go ahead and start on course number 11, but then I was thinking there are some things I gotta do in preparation. I couldn't just jump right into course number 11. And maybe this is a lesson, double check to see what you need to do at each specific course. Because right now there's quite a bit I gotta do. I gotta add in cleats. I gotta maneuver that Gothic arch form back because now as we're stepping in, I wanna make sure that Gothic arch form is supporting those bags that we're putting over it. So I gotta get busy. I gotta get some things done before we can start bagging again. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. So I'm gonna start over here by the Gothic arch form. This might take me the longest. I wanna pull this a little bit in so we're supporting those bags. Okay, so we are now inside the Gothic arch form. I'm about to pull out some of these screws that we were using to anchor in the arch form in place. Didn't wanna blow it off with all those crazy winds. I'm gonna have to put a couple of braces down here but I think I'm gonna pull this back like about a foot, foot and a half. Then I'm gonna put some blocks under here to raise up this arch form so we can get it out later on. It shouldn't be too tricky. Oh no! Ow! Uh, well, that was unfortunate and unexpected. Uh, kind of messed up our floor a little bit. Oh, look at it. That's sad. She ain't happy. You gonna beat me up later? Uh, I probably shouldn't have tried tackling this myself. Jess was here. I should have got her to help me out, keep it stabilized a little more. I just got overconfident, I guess. I thought I had it, and then it got away from me. I should have been there. I mean, literally, I could have just been like, hey, can you help me out with this? Probably better to be safer than sorry. You know, even if you think you have something, if those hands are readily available, especially uh, when you're dealing with large, heavy objects, maybe better to get that, get a spotter, just in case. Oh, Jess, you're a lifesaver, literally. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry about the floor. Well, I'll tell you, yesterday was kind of crazy. I was a little shaken up after having that thing roll over my head like that. I just couldn't believe that happened. Uh, just goes to show you, even if you think you have something under control, when dealing with something like that, it's probably good to have an extra pair of hands around just in case. Now, I paid the price. Luckily, I didn't pay a pretty hefty price, but that could have been much worse than it was. Well, anyway, next day here, I have a lot to do. I am out of cleats for the earth bag dome. I had made a bunch before we started and now we've used them all. I'm putting in a bunch of cleats. I figure it's probably better to have more in there than not enough. You never know when you might want to have a surface where you want to nail something to. That's what I'll be doing right now. I'll be making some more cleats, getting things ready for the next course. Coming up real soon. So I'm going to make more cleats just using leftover OSB and plywood. I'm gonna make them at least 12 inches in length and probably give it a whoop. And probably give it at least 12 inch width, but I'm probably gonna aim for closer to 16. I wanna make it at least half to three quarters of the bag width, which would probably put it at uh, between 10 to 16 inches. Now I've just cut these boards kinda quick. Uh, I'm not really doing a whole lot of measuring, a whole lot of making sure boards are straight and that the two by fours are going in real even. They don't, these don't need to be perfect. They just provide a decent surface to nail things into. Now that the days are getting longer, I gotta take advantage of every little bit of sunlight I have to get some of these projects done. I wanna be ready to go for when we start doing course number 11. Getting it done, getting it done. Almost there, just a few more to put in. So we're making good progress on the earth bag home. Now I got all six of those cleats placed last night, looking real good. I got two by the window, two by the dome entrance, and two by the hallway entrances. 
I'm sorry, did we wake you up? Did we wake you up? <laughs> Always the shy guy. I know people have been asking us about the gutter situation and I am working on it <laughs> slowly but surely. Just kind of in between all the other things we got going on. But I do have... Knock it off. <laughs> but I do have all the gutters down, all the boards down. Now I'm gonna put up some more fascia boards, clean up the gutters that we have, put those back up. Lots of little tasks to do, but I will get it done before the rainy season comes. I promise. <laughs> Keep me on track with that. Here's Jess, everyone, ready to get it done. Doesn't she look fabulous? Go ahead, get a little model twirl. Okay, now you're ready to handle some incredibly dangerous barbed wire. Feels like summer out here, doesn't it? A little taste of that summer coming around. How do you like it? Well, it's nice now. <laughs> it's nice now. <laughs> Seems like it went from winter to summer in a few days. Well, our winter to our summer. I was thinking you needed the ladder to get over there, but uh, you're probably not going to, are you? No, I got, it's like a little wooden bridge here. <laughs> Dirt prep, always an important part of the earth bagging process. Can't fill bags unless you got dirt. I got out here just before the sun came up over the mountains. Just gonna get this dirt prepared for the day. It's always a continuous battle on one of these courses. Always out here, always digging more dirt. But one wheelbarrow probably gets us enough for, uh, for one bag. So you can see it's a lot of back and forth filling these things up. I did use the truck bed before and I decided not to go with that just because I can only use it once and then subsequent times She's waiting there while I'm filling up this whole thing of dirt again. Whereas if I do it just by the cart or the wheelbarrow, I can keep things moving a little faster. Outfit change. You gotta look fabulous when, uh, when doing your earth bagging. Just trying to stay comfortable. Stay comfortable and look fabulous. You always look fabulous, Jess. Thank you. Now we got our work cut out for today. We got to start yesterday, but we want to finish this today. You think we can do it? I think we it's can. a lot of bags, it's a lot of bags. Now that we've taken care of all the little things we got to do, now it's just bagging and tagging. Or just, just bagging. No tagging going on. Uh-oh, what you got over there? Whoa, that is a fat one. And that was just in the dirt that I got? Yeah. What are you gonna do with it? I think it's gonna be a chicken treat. <laughs> oh, they know, they know. Oh, we got a winner. <laughs> like, like, what is it, what happened? You snooze, you lose. Meanwhile, the winner is enjoying the spoils. Uh-oh. Oh, we swallowed it down real quick. <laughs> there you go. Insulation guys. I like how the chickens don't trust each other at all. Like, no. <laughs> hey, 
What do you got over there? <laughs> The winds have really picked up over here, so we can't get a whole lot filmed. But we did want to show you this. It's going to be our next fan bag. We're not using the fan bag box for this. We actually just made kind of a small, just a small bag. It's going to be kind of evenly filled. I just is going to toss this into place, or do you want me to toss it into place? I think I can. You're just gonna push it forward basically, right? Yep. <laughs> that seemed pretty easy. We'll have to tamp that into place, but I think it's looking pretty good. Work out for them legs. As you can see, we're transitioning to the smaller bags. We're actually done with the dome bags. Yeah, Jess, Jess, you excited? Yes. We're almost done. We haven't been able to get much film this afternoon because the winds have just been absolutely nuts. But now we're on the other side of the house. Now we're on the east side of the house. And actually, it's a bit, little bit of a wind buffer. Not for me. Not for Jess. She's got to be on the wall. But for me, it's nice. <laughs> my muscles are screaming, though. They're, my, they're ready to be done. They're ready to be done for the day, I'll tell you that. Now, I'm ecstatic because we pretty much got this whole thing done, that whole course done in one day. Why have we been able to get this course done uh, in one day where it seems like these other courses have been taking us a couple of days? Well, it could be a few things. The courses are starting to step in a little more now, so it might be slightly smaller. Um, it was a pretty nice day for most of the day. It was a little bit windy, but... The winds did pick up quite a bit. But as far as like temperature and everything, it was pretty comfortable, and I felt like I had a little more stamina, I guess. One quick dirt run and uh, we're back at it. A lot of people in the comments have been calling you a beast. <laughs> and you are something else. I mean, what incredible stamina you had. I mean, you were working out there on those winds, you were getting it done. Well, I think, I mean, a lot of that has to do with you too because you're the one that is doing all the shoveling and bringing the dirt to me, so. Uh, it seemed like you were working pretty fast too. And pretty much non-stop, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, last bag of course number 11. We're turning this earth bag dome up to 11, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha. So, and then after we got the course done, I came out again after eating dinner and I pretty much got everything tamped down. So that was a little something that I made out. Like we had just got done filling the whole course and then I tamped the whole course just right that night. So uh, I was moving from like one incredibly physical activity right into the next. But I pretty much had it done except those last two bags. So we finished course number 11. You uh, put a hole in our floor. Well, it's a dent. It's not a hole per se. But yeah, that's a problem. I think it'll be easily fixed. Well, I'm glad it's a dent in the floor and not your head. <laughs> exactly. 
I actually do have a little bit of mark on my neck where that thing, it must have scraped my neck, so. Yeah, that was a really close call. That could have been, this could have been way worse than it actually was. So uh, I lucked out, just a little dent in the floor from such thing, but from now on, I'm gonna make sure I got the beast with me. <laughs> course number 11's done. These next couple of courses are gonna be very interesting. I'm really looking forward to getting into them, getting them done. So I think it's gonna spell big changes for this build coming up. Yep. Check out these next couple courses, y'all. It's gonna be very cool. I'm excited. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. All right, we'll catch you in the next video.